This is Richard Allen at the University of Iowa. This video demonstrates the exchange of a Jones tube. Examination of the tube in the nose shows that it is too long and is obstructed by the nasal speculum. A quicker Dryden probe is placed through the tube and the tube can be removed over the probe. This probe is very useful in this situation as it does not have a central attachment as seen in a Bowman probe, which would obstruct the removal of the tube over the probe. A shorter tube is placed over the probe and can be advanced through the passageway into the nose. Externally, the Jones tube appears to be situated well. Intranasally, the tube appears to be in appropriate position and is no longer obstructed by the nasal septum. The tube will be fixated for the early postoperative period with a 6 serovicral suture. The suture is placed as a noose around the tube and tied. The suture is double armed and each arm is placed transcutaneous through the medial lower lid. This will prevent displacement in the early postoperative period. I do not use permanent sutures to fixate the tube unless the patient has issues with tube displacement. If that were the case, a purse string suture would be placed around the conjunctiva and the knot would be buried medial to the tube. The vicral suture placed here can be removed at the one-week follow-up appointment.